A Modern Day Cinderella A candidate must not be soiled, virginal as the freshly fallen snow, so that with his first thrust all will know that the issue is his, not another's. Her beauty shall be as the airbrushed ads that taunts us into buying their products to achieve what is beyond our grasp. To deny herself and her needs will bring happiness ever after. Once upon a time there was a prince. Dumbo was his name. He searched for his snow white of porcelain beauty. Woman after woman threw herself at the prince. He flicked them aside as a hunter does a wayward branch. Alas, he found his true Cinderella. Not sweeping cinders, but nurturing young minds. Marry her, marry her quickly, she must not know. Marry her to maintain respectability, she is of noble bloodline, said the queen, grasping at straws. But mother, I love another who is not free, he whined. Spare this kingdom the shame, form the alliance. He rushed to his true love's side, presenting her with a token of his love. Then he scurried off to marry his princess-to-be. The princess truly loved her Prince Dumbo, and despite his large ears, gave him two heirs. She lived for him and his happiness. Was not this her royal duty? Whatever happened to happily ever after? He never loved her, and made it clear. I will hunt and keep myself busy. Appearances are everything to mother. Behave yourselves, said the queen. I will not have a scandal. Put on your makeup and take your places. Your audience is waiting. The princess ate and purged the loneliness. Let me die and leave this spotlight I cannot escape. The crowds adore me, but not my love. He has no love, no compassion. Using her notoriety as a conduit, the princess channeled her unreturned love on charity. Follow me, if you dare, across the hidden minefields, to the orphans of the aftermath of war, to the other side of the tracks, to the children, especially the children. Conduct yourselves as expected of one in your standing. Image is everything to the crown. Deny the truth and squelch the rumors. Remember, you are a happily married couple, and don't forget to wear your hat, said the queen. Please, I beg of you, no longer can I pretend. If the show must go on, let it go on without me and my sons. The princess wanted to free her wings, feel the wind as she soared on her own, to live without the spotlight. The vultures circled. They were used to waiting. It was a way of life for them. Give us anything, a tidbit here, a tidbit there. We'll blow it out of proportion. Finally, the princess gave in. Her blood splashed across the headlines, screaming the truth. Flash! Flash! Prince has a lover on the side. Read all about it. He loves another, not me. I know, and can do nothing. The queen rolled up the red carpet. Tiptoeing, the press and biographers gained access through the back door. Tongues wagged incessantly as puppy dogs' tails. Quick to the press! Because mine is the truth, mine is the best. Chide the salivating vultures, the predators return to pick over the bones. Off with their tongues, shouted the queen. They tell nothing but lies. The vultures ignored protocol and the denouncements of the queen. And what of the princess? She cleared every hurdle and moved forward with Prince Dumbo, temporarily forgetting the happily ever after ending. Peace of mind and a rested soul were more important. No longer did she seek relief with her finger. Take care and beware of princely knights, roaming and sowing their seeds. They know not what they are doing, unless they follow the cue of the queen.